Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I am glad you're here. I um, want to take a quick second and thank the channel members. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you more than you know. And to invite you guys who might not have had a chance yet, if you're so inclined, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. Not only will it let you know when stuff's going on around the channel, it'll really help me out. Today, I have got the the privilege of bringing you guys another super cool knife from my local buddy a to z edc over on instagram go give him a follow he's got a cool cool knife collection he lets me carry several of his knives for a while check them out so i can tell you guys about them and what i think and today i've been stoked to be carrying for the last few days kind of in a secretive way not posting it on IG because I wanted to do this video. This is the Null Knives Riot Made Voodoo. Serial number 134, date of birth 710. This one's stonewashed, black micarta, black PVD, designed and developed in New York by Null Knives and built and completed and packaged up by Riot. And let me tell you something, guys. This knife and this experience has really opened my eyes to this knife. I hate that I missed out on it when it was at uh, White Mountain Knives. I was there when they came in stock, and I actually was in the position to where I could have grabbed one. It would have stressed me, um, but I could have definitely done it made it happen. I didn't, um, so I missed out on the drop i missed out on the pre-order and i know where these are right now so there is an overseas company that that has these guys in stock and i might be um might be getting one because it is a uh, that good of a knife guys this is the null knives voodoo <clears throat> it is <clears throat> excuse me having to clear my throat there it is a stonewashed deep deep hollow grind let me find something to cut with real quick but it's m390 let's get a piece of and guys i apologize for not having better stuff to cut and for being such a shoddy cutter when i try to cut because i can't even get a page to pull out of this smoky mountain knife works but i mean it slices through paper like a hot knife through butter i mean guys it is that slicey with that deep hollow grind um absolutely impressive it just it feels great it's a light knife one of the things that a to z mentioned to me that i don't think i thought it was a weird weird comment but I get what he's saying. It doesn't feel substantial. There's a lot of weight relief done with this knife where it is um, it, it is milled down to where, I guess with this micarta inlay, your titanium is thin enough to where the knife, and we'll get a weight here in a second, is in his mind, he, he thought it felt less than um, less than premium so to speak. I won't say he thought it felt cheap. He was just a little bit, he, he would like the knife to be heavier. Because again, I know what it's like to have a heavy, a knife that's very substantial versus a knife that I think is equally as impressive but weighs a lot less. So when we're talking about the Null Knives Voodoo, the actual action on this knife, the ergonomics on this knife for my hand are perfect. I'm actually hoping that A to Z EDC decides that he's not in love with this knife, so I don't have to order it and pay in euros um, because it does exist, and it does exist over at uh, Klingonak. That's the only time I'll mention them because if I link the page, you wouldn't be able to read any of it. I speak ein bisschen Deutsch, which means a little Dutch, and I know that they've got all the variations over at Klingonak. So check that out if you're interested. But again, just a very elegant knife. I did not think I would like these. 
uh, thumb studs or these little thumb triangles because in the past they've always been placed to where they didn't seem conducive to the middle finger flick. However, these uh, little triangles for the thumb flick, for the middle finger flick, are just perfect. And then you've got the fuller if you don't want to have to get around that stud. The fuller you can flick it from anywhere in the fuller and the detent is just cash money. The detent sucks the knife back in. So it's very substantial, feels very good. You've got this really nice poon here that's got this swedge that goes all the way down from where that poon starts. You've got this awesome little dip, reverse Tonto-like dip before you come down to this nice sheep's footy, worn cliffy blade. Um, the actual cutouts in the handle for your um, choil is spot on. I mean, literally cash money, guys. I'm telling you, this knife that's made by Riot that has very little blade markings. You've got your Null Knives logo, which I think is very classy. You've got, this is the black PVD titanium and black micarta, which is available at Clean Works too. Um, just, a, what can I say? A beautifully well-executed, well-done, sexy looking knife. And I'm just stoked to be able to handle it and bring it to you guys. Let's do a couple of quick size comparisons. Look at it next to the Cold Steel 4 Max and the Civivi Baby Banter. It's going to be smaller than the 4 Max. It's going to be bigger than the Civivi Baby Banter. Let's look at it next to the Benchmade Bug Out. It's going to be bigger than the Bug Out and the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It's going to be just about the same length as your Spyderco Paramilitary 2. I would say exactly the same length as a Spyderco Paramilitary 2, or close enough for horseshoes and hand grenades. Isn't that what they say? Look at it next to a couple of premium knives, Riot knives. Let's look at it next to the Brian Brown Jaeger. And let's look at it next to another Riot knife, the Berg Blades Sweeney. And it's going to be larger than both the Jaeger and the Sweeney. And let's look at it next to the Riot made Liang Ma Field Duty EDC, a knife that guys I'm loving more and more each day. Just about the same length, but as you can tell, the Field Duty folder, I think I called it the Field Duty EDC, it's the Field Duty folder and S9EV is going to be longer, uh, thicker, excuse me. And then there's the Vero Best Tech made Axon, which it's going to come in larger than. So about the same size as the Liang Ma, the same size as the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. And let's break out our Javon replacement from our promotional tape measure that we broke. And let's see how long this guy is. It's going to come in right over eight and a quarter inches. I'm going to call it right under eight and a half inches with a three and three quarter inch blade. It has a three and a half inch cutting area, cutting edge, and it has about a little bit over four and a half inch handle. Now from the front choil to the back of the micarta, which is the back of the flat, is four and a quarter, and that is from here to here is four and a quarter. So you can tell you've got a very, very generous grip, regardless of your hand size. I think you're gonna fit into this knife if you're interested in it very nicely. Um, it's just a basic blade stock. I'm not going to even get, I'll try to get the hollow grind. 0.152. And then behind the edge, super thin, like a laser beam. 0.0100. And then the handle width or thickness is right over half an inch at 0.5385. And again, the thing that A to Z mentioned was the way that the knife felt very light, which I don't look at that as a lack of quality. I look at it kind of more of a refinement. So right at four ounces. 
four ounces even. So the Null Voodoo with very little blade billboarding. This has just been an absolute joy to carry. I almost wish I didn't carry it because now I'm really thinking I want one. The clip works wonderfully well, works fantastically well. I'm carrying uh, the Padre today. But it goes in and out of pocket with one hand, just like an absolute dream. I mean, it's a, what can I say, guys? A fantastic knife. Another cool little design element is I love the font. So you've got M390 on the side of the blade there and kind of a script-like font. You've got a perfectly centered blade. You've got the Null Knives logo. You've got this wicked hollow grind, the super pokey, splinter poking, splinter removing tip. Very elegant swedge. A beautifully ergonomical knife, guys. So all I can say is thank you to A to Z EDC right there if you get a chance do give him a follow comment on one of his pictures telling javon sent you because i want him to keep letting me check out some of his knives he's got some absolute bangers that i hope to be able to bring you guys again it's good that our styles are a little different and we grab a little bit different stuff from time to time but i'd be crazy to tell you he does influence a lot of my purchases and he's definitely influenced this it was his evo um, influenced me to want an Evo. But guys, that was the Null Knives Voodoo brought to us from my buddy, lives here in town, A to Z EDC. I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I appreciate you all more than you know. I'm going to ask if you would, please look out for that guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal on your right. Look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Choose debate, not hate. Give A to Z EDC a fo uh, follow over on Instagram. I'll see you guys soon. I love y'all. Peace.